Lloydminster Public Library is under construction this week. A new section is being assembled for children and kids' books. The three-day renovation will help the library work more efficiently. Well, we're not doing a lot in the way of renos. We're moving a wall and adding a wall. But what it does is in, instead of having a, a small room that's completely full of books, we, we now have a more open space and we can expand out into uh, some more of the library space in a, an intelligent fashion. And along with that, a new bathroom facility is under consideration. Trying to put in place a child-friendly uh, washroom at the request of a uh, of the, the families of a lot of our uh, s small users. We don't have one in Atrium Centre and we're trying to put one in place. The library is expected to be open again on Thursday. Early Sunday morning, truckers from around the Midwest hit the highway to raise money for cancer research. They were taking part in the second annual Tony's Convoy for Hope. Robert Buffum has that story. Big rigs rolled into Lloydminster's exhibition grounds in Convoy, having made the trek from Vermilion earlier in the morning. The event was the brainchild of Tom Jack, whose brother-in-law, Tony, died of cancer last May, spurring Tom into action. I got mad. My wife said, uh, cancer doesn't care if you're mad. It only cares, uh, it only worries when you fight back. And I said, we got to do something. Last year, 35 trucks took part and they raised nearly $18,000. This year, they hope to raise 20 grand thanks to more trucks and vehicles. The event is gaining momentum. You can feel the energy off of everyone. It's also bringing drivers together for a spirited, fun gathering. <laughs> but its organizer is most proud of the meaningful cash they're raising. We do this with zero expenses. If we get one dollar, Cross Cancer gets that whole dollar. Its support the Alberta Cancer Foundation is grateful for. Everyone has their story, and although this is in memory of Tony, there are currently 46,620 Albertans living with cancer in Alberta right now. And it's support from his fellow truckers that's clearly moving for Trucker Tom. I'm, I'm only 5'7", but today I feel 10 feet tall, man. Local artists and antique collectors had the chance to show off their favourite works this weekend during the 5th annual Wild Rose Trail event. Antiques and collectibles of all sorts imaginable fill Yield Bank in Kitscotty. The spot was one of nine stops on the Wild Rose Trail tour. For those drawn into the store, it was a chance to relive part of their youth. It can twist like this, hey? Well, they stop by and they have a look at the different things we have in our store and it takes them down memory lane and it just helps them remember a lot of the past and they, they enjoy seeing the things that remind them of when they were younger. Meanwhile, the only Lloydminster stop on the tour was at Dawn Interiors, where its owner was proud to showcase some of the border city's and finest we're artists. By the, um, we're unique in the prairies because we share um, both Alberta and Saskatchewan talent and, and ideas, and so um, in my store it's a wonderful bringing together of that local talent.